Hello everybody, this is at Zoo, and this is part 10 of Paper Mario. So yeah, last time we went through Matt Rugged, this time we're going to go through the dry, dry desert and dry, dry outpost here. Now for this first time through the dry desert, I'm just going to go straight through to dry, dry outpost, because we're going to have to come back through here anyway. So might as well, might as well, uh, you know, cut back on the backtracking. So here's Colorado here, the mustache Koopa. Well, hello there, old bean. How goes the travels, eh? I'm known as Colorado. I am an archaeologist, you know. I travel the world. Do you see I'm very good at British accents? At the moment, I'm turning dry, dry desert upside down to find the dry, dry ruins. My assistants have attempted to gather information in dry, dry outposts, which is near here. Sadly, as of yet, we're having little success. All I need is a clue, and we'll be golden, old chap. You're Colorado, correct? The name's Pat Carey. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Here you go, sir. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Oh, oh, good show, old chap. It's a letter from my wife. Thank you ever so, old chap. This is just what I needed to give me the strength to go on. Dot, dot, dot. I know. I'll pass this along as a spot of things. I came across it while I was immersed in the dig around here. Hooray! So yeah, we got some new enemies in the desert here. We got two new enemies. We got two new enemies we're gonna find here. Bandits. Here. If I can... See, these guys are pretty hard to hit. But yep. Bandits. The thing with the bandits is that they will take... They will take stuff from you if, they, if you allow them to hit you. So, yeah, multi bounce these fools to spread out the damage. Yeah, these guys have five HP. If you're if you're if you're successful in the action command, they won't steal anything from you. But if you screw it up, you're gonna not have a good time. They'll steal an item. They'll steal an item or a, or coins. These red guys will steal coins, and the green guys will steal money. So yeah, let's multi bounce these fools again. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you get the action command on the last guy. It's just one damage either way, I guess. I like the little sound effect that plays when they're sad. <laughs> I like that. So multi multi bounce, multi ball. Yeah. Yeah, these guys pretty much are, aren't too much of a threat. Come on. Aw. Oh. oh, well. I'm gonna get my money back anyway. But what happens is that they ha if they have something in their hands at the end of your turn, they'll run away. So yeah, you gotta be sure, be sure to kill them before they run off of your stuff. 12 points. That's pretty good. Oh, flower power. Thank you. So if you want to go to the dry dry outpost, just keep going right. As long as you keep going right, you won't get lost. And here we are, Pokies. You know, move faster, Pokey. So yeah, you gotta have hammer time. These these are Pokies, you know. I'm sure Proton John knows enough about these guys. The Quake Hammer probably would have been good here. They got they'll either do this attack or they'll throw one of their segments at you. So yeah, it's not, it's not good. So I'm gonna die, too. Took too much damage from the bandits. The bandits. Ugh. This isn't looking too hot. I sh still shouldn't die, though. Cause I'm gonna avoid enemies from here on out anyway. Don't wanna, like I said, I don't wanna get too much experience. Oh, I got a heart, that's good. Nope, 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 nope. So, there's also a strange phallic like thing here with a tweester. Look at that, look at his face. He's staring at you. Tweester. We'll be coming back to him because we need to use him to get something kind of valuable. There's a mouse under a tree. Not unusual at all. I'm just gonna don't mind me, I'm just gonna shake this tree for money. So we'll come back to him later. Like in about five minutes probably. These trees don't really have anything other than Oh, I forgot, we're not there yet. I accidentally hopped on this guy. 
So we're gonna ignore you. We're gonna ignore these guys. I forgot we're not in the we're not in the last area yet. Nope. Nope. Screw you. Now you're at the last area. These trees just have money. Money's money, I guess. I'm going to be spending 50 of them pretty soon. For good reasons. One of these has a letter, though. Which we're going to need. Eh. One of these does. I knew it. A letter. A letter to Morty in Koopa Village. Ew. Morty. So here we are. Dry, dry outpost. Oh, this is it. Outpost for dry, dry desert. Who would have thought? Yes? Uh... Hello? Hey, come back here. Ooh, red tree. That's pretty unusual. Oh, thanks for the money. You know it's one coin. Oh, well. Hello, mouse? Toad house? We might have to use the toad house. Now, here's something here. The sheet. Someone who gives things is nice. Yes, very nice. Nice guys get told nice stuff. So all you have to do is I have to go to the desert and find the lime and lemon tree. So yeah. But if you know if you know the secret, you don't need to give him anything. <laughs> but since I know the secret, so let's visit this. Let's go inside this toad house because we kind of need it. Fresh your body and soul. So so yeah. Since I already know the secret, I don't need to give him lemons and limes. You can ask him a list of five different things, but, and one of them will be pretty critical, but I already know what the critical information is. Maybe you may notice some crates back here. Oh, wait, wait. I'll get to her in a second. There's something I'm missing here. There's something back here. Nope, that's up top. Okay, never mind. So, if you jump back here, you can see, um, I forget her name. I forget what her name is. Hello. Welcome. How are you? Feeling jolly? Feeling blue? I'm Merly. You see? That's me. I'm a cuter gal you... I'm, the, I'm a cuter gal you'll never see. Uh, I don't know how to speak English today, apparently. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has stressed you well, for I am master of the spell. Hey, she rhymes. When my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare take a chance? Want to watch my cards dance? Oh, how lovely. Very good. Pick just one now, if you would. Hearts. I pay as much as I could. So, yeah. This is this is basically gives you buffs and battles here. I think the number of coins you pay is proportional to the amount of battles it'll take the effect. So, the defeat course will give you five coins. I think five battles. It'll buff you five times during battles. The ordinary course will buff you 20 times. And special course will buff you 50 times, or whatever the proportion is. So, I'm going to take the special course. Well, we're ready. Howdy ho. And here we go, hearts. It can also be immediately after battle, too. It has one of different effects. It can increase your attack power for a turn. It can increase your defense power for a turn. It can double the amount of star points you get at the end of the battle. It can... It can increase the amount of coins after the battle, it can increase the amount of hearts after a battle, and increase the amount of FP after a battle. So it's all buffs. I think you'll find this power might get you get your foes to cower. Oh let your darkest hour. Even should you need a beast, do not fear. Not in the least. My spell makes a famine feast. See you then, please come back again. Goodbye, my friend, heart. So yeah. That that can this spell can actually save you in dire situations. So if, you, if you're pretty low on HP, you might get the defense buff when you both need it. So this guy's this guy is awfully suspicious here. You're looking awfully suspicious. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check checkmate my one of these whack of bums, and I'm gonna sell off the others in case I need a whack of bum. Oh yeah, thirty. Good thing I got a bit of them. So I basically made the money back I got from going to the spell. Honey syrup. Don't need that. Don't need the mushroom. Don't eat the mushrooms. Yeah. There we are. Get, get some healthy money off that. Um, I might keep this egg. The egg might be of use. So I'm going to check that. Yeah. Come on, let me check my egg. Make sure it doesn't have a live chicken in it. Or else Peter would be all over me. 
So what you do here is that if you talk to the sheep with the, the, the lemon or the lime, what you do, what you're supposed to do is that you're supposed to buy a, a dried shroom, then a dusty hammer. Whoa, ho, wait, what, ho? Buy the dusty hammer after a dried shroom. Is this dot that dot is a secret sign that only friends of Mr. M Mustafa knows. Dot that dot, that means dot dot dot, you're in with Mustafa. Hey, brother, good to meet you. Have you, have, have any questions you need answered? Dot dot dot, you want to see Mr. Mustafa? He's usually up on the highest part of the dry, dry outpost. Just keep going up, my man. So, yep. If you didn't know that, you would need to give limes and lemons to that sheik I was talking about. I don't really need these. So I'm going to get rid of these. Yeah, at least it's some money. Some money's better than no money. There's also something else you can do here, but I don't really need to do it right now. I could, but eh, it would just eat up time. And I need to, not time to explore the desert. Now, you may notice the sheik's gone and he can go in this house now. <laughs> That sheik is awfully suspicious, ain't he? There's a letter that's really well hidden. A letter to the traveling nomad mouse on the road. See, that's why I passed him up earlier. We just got his letter. Yeah. Hello there, sheik. Not Zelda sheik, but you know. Oh, did you get here? Who told you how to find this place? Hey, don't go Meta Knight on me now. Dot, dot, dot. Yes, Mustafa is my name. When I'm out and about a dry, dry outpost, I use the name Sheik. You look nice enough. I'm a good judge of character. I've been watching you ever since you came to town. Ew, creepy. I still can't believe you found me without being told. I think you must have extremely good luck, yes? Or I've played this game 11 times before. Your name is Mario, yes? I've heard that you want to go to dry, dry ruins. I have a feeling you are on an important journey, so I will tell you the secret. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? So yeah, just let me go in. You must promise me that you will tell no one the secret. I'll give you this. You get the false stone. The closer you get to Dry Dry Ruins, the faster it flashes. And man, does that noise get annoying. This tall stone is the key to finding dry, dry ruins. Take it to the desert, yes? The pulse stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the pulse stone will flash. Follow where it leads you. Find the place where the pulse stone flashes the fastest and use it to open the way. So, you need to, so now we can go to the dry, dry ruins proper now. So that's why like I said this is the middle third, dry, dry desert and dry, dry outpost. But now we're going to explore the desert to get all the goodies. So most of the goodies. We can't get them all because we don't have the super boots yet. We're going to get goodies here. I'm going to try to get as many as I can while avoiding the enemies mostly. Here. Box. Box. Enemies. Enemies. Box. I want box. Box are good. Oh, you saw a life stream came out, so hopefully I can get that. I'm not going to use it, but I want it. Wait, I can't pick it up, because what the life stream does is that you can use it as a regular super mushroom, but if you run out of HP and you have a life stream in your inventory, it'll revive you with 10 HP. So yeah, that's why I'm not going to pick it up, because in case I do kick the bucket, I don't want to be auto-revived. That'd be cheating. Oh, I do need a life stream, though. Oh, welcome by one of Chapter 3. I didn't think about that. I'll give, I could buy one of Chapter 3. So that's where you find the Lime and Lemons. Pretty, pretty useful. And you also find the Heart Block, if you need it. And also we find our first one of these. The Super Block. This is a Super Block. That's what I just said. Thank you, game. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. The member you upgrade will gain attack power. The party member will also master a new ability. Which party member do you want to upgrade? See so if... You can give your, one of your partners an attack boost and a new move, so think about it carefully. I forget who I usually pick first. Oh, no, I do usually use Bomb Bed a lot because she, her bomb power is off the charts, as you can see. <laughs> oh, no. Goombaria learns Charge, which could be useful, though. I'm going to take Goombaria's Charge. Then at level, then at the second rank, he learns Multi-Bonk. 
which is very useful. Charge stack the multi bug. That's gonna be very useful. That's like that's one of my strategies. I charge the multi bug, and if I get once I get the charge, S jump charge, batch charge, Mario, I'll do the same thing. Apparently, I'm having trouble speaking. So yeah, good Mario's leveled up here, but I can't really use him. He'll be more useful later. You gotta taste these tonic just casually behind the bush here. It cures poison, so yeah, that's good. There's a coin block there around enemies. It's not too important. They're gonna get it. And we're gonna take this twister. Take me away. And you kinda need to to get this badge. Spin attack. Let's Mario destroy a weaker enemy with a spinning move. See so, yep. See so, yep. If you're able to do a spin attack into an enemy and they're weaker than you, you automatically defeat them and get and get the spoils. I don't think you get any star points, but you get the spoils, which might be useful. <laughs> I don't think there are enemies in here. But yep. Here's a stopwatch. It works. If it works, it paralyzes all enemies for a short time. Again, I'm not using the items just for prosperity, I guess. It sometimes works, it sometimes doesn't. It's a gamble. Just gotta take the chance. Grr. Yep, let's go. Go this way. You can see, you can tell when it's the path to Dry Dry Ruins of Mount Rocket was here. Just walk along this path if you're not feeling brave. Oh, there's the Nomada Mouse. I have a letter for you, sir. Hello, fellow traveler. I'm in the middle of a journey, just as you appear to be. You go southeast from here, you reach a beautiful desert oasis where lemon and lime trees grow. It's nice and cool. It's really the best place to have a rest, but many enemies plague the surrounding area. Sorry about the camera. We plan on reaching the oasis in one piece. Be careful. Traveling to Madam Mouse, correct? The name's Terry Carey. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry about the camera. I don't know why it's going wonky. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. A letter for me from Mustafa. I've heard the name, but dot dot dot. Can't remember who he is. Anyway, thank you for delivering. I'm surprised that you found me way out here. It's extremely hot traveling this desert, so take care. Oh yeah, take this as my thanks. Don't hesitate. Yay, yeah, star piece. Need that. Useful. You may notice the pulse stone above my head, but it's because we're getting closer to dry, dry ruins. But we're gonna take this tweezer. We don't need to, but I like to. And in the middle of this trees is runaway pay. If you have this equipped and when you run away from a battle, you'll still get the star points. Useful. It is useful. So you can so what you can potentially do is that you can farm enemies. You can destroy some of the enemies to run away, take the pay, then destroy the enemies again. It's kinda cheesing it, but oh well. It works. And here another tweester. Which I don't know where this goes. This is one of the random tweesters that yeah, it has a honey syrup. Yeah, let's get some coins out of this baby. Mm -hmm. And over here, we got ourselves a fire flower. I do have a map, just in case you're wondering. That's why I'm not doing anything for some periods of time. And here, we got a whole lot of pokies. There is an item here, though, behind that cactus way back there. I'm going to get it just because. Fire flower. Yep, which we got earlier. Fire, fire all the way back here if you feel like going through all these pokies. Yep, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna explore all the ruins with all the areas of items. Not all the not all the areas have items though. So you gotta be careful. I'm just gonna only explore the areas of actual items. I'm gonna try anyway. These blocks have coins in them. Well, some of them do, I guess. Not all of them. Mm -hmm. So I, don't, I'm only, I need to keep going left here. Go another tweester. Don't want to run into him. Thank you, tweesters. I like your faces, but you blow me. You blow me in a bad way. So, coin. Oh, enemies. That's good. Coin. And here's something, I believe. Dang it, Pokey. No one they likes you. Nobody likes you. Aw, oh, poo. I don't like these guys. I'm too cool for you guys. Mario, you don't have time to mess with you. And in here we got another fire flower, which I won't use. 
lovely. We're getting items, all sorts of items we're, we're not going to use. Yeah, I'm just getting them just to show you where they are, I guess. Whoa. And we're going to go down south. We're going to go all the way down south. Down deep south. Urgh. Gotta get there's a badge down here, which it's pretty it's a it's one of those sound effects badges, but I'm gonna get it anyway. Cactus. Cacti. Cactuar. La -di -da -di -da -la -la. Down here somewhere. I think it's over here. I hope I went over too far. I need to go one to the right. Eh. I went over one too far. Now it's over here in this this square. No enemies in it. There's just a lone block on this rock. Sound effect. C changes the sound effect. So Mario's attacking. So just for fun, I'm gonna see what this effect is. Attack effect C. Cool. That's some. Ah. Mario. You sure you want that effect? <laughs> so I'm gonna get rid of that. So let's go uppy 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 up up and away. As you can see my commentary is just devolved into meaningless babble. I'm running out of things to say. It's desert. You know I don't really like desert levels. I find desert levels are my least favorite. I know I like water levels, ice levels, fire levels. I just don't really like desert levels, desert and sand levels that much. Don't know why. I find desert level really boring. Oh, here's something here. These bandits might get in the way, but what you do here is that you attack this block. One hit, one. One hit gives you one thing. And ten hits gives you another thing. And you also get a third thing for 100 hits. So I want to make you sit through all 100 hits. Sure, because I need a time filler. 100 hits. So... I'm not going to cut this out. I need a time filler. I don't really need a time filler, but they'll bring me closer to 30 minutes. It's not going to take that long. Okay, like I said, I don't really like desert levels that much. I just find them really bland. A bunch of sand and nothingness. I mean, like Sandopolis and Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I wasn't really a fan of. Fan of. Hmm. I, did like, I did like the inside the pyramid part. I do like inside the pyramid part. I just don't really like the desert part. You know, I find deserts really bland. And honestly, I don't really find water levels that annoying. I don't mind swimming and stuff. Oh, 100 right away. 100 pick gives you an Ultra Shroom. Yeah, this one, it's, I think this is the earliest you can get an Ultra Shroom. And this could be a lifesaver. 50 HP. I'm only going to be able to utilize one fifth of that power. But I'm not going to use it anyway, because again, this is a no item run. 10 HP, no items. If, if I forgot to say that at the beginning of the video, there's a Thunder Rage on top of this, on top of this rock, and I'm full of items. That's the, I think that's the first time that's happened. I need, I need the lemon and lime. I'll get rid of all of these. The Thunder Rage attacks all enemies, which is useful, but again, I'm not going to use it. And the last item is a Fright Jar. Uh, ooh, ooh. Makes a scary spirit appear and chase some enemies away. I think I need this. So I'm going to throw away a honey syrup. I don't think I need a stopwatch. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to use it. The items I'm keeping are for quests or for selling. So dry, dry ruins is over here. Ah, uh, you jerk. I'm so close. No, I don't. You know, there's going to be a heart block right there, so I might as well. Get him, Cooper. I'll take some minor experience. We haven't had a lot of action this episode. I'll just have Mario do nothing. Because I can. Mario, you lazy bum. Okay, I'm just sucking, th sucking at this. Yeah, that's better. Well, there's the second attack, finally. One of them did. So let's get rid of these guys. Bye bye. Yes. So we're gonna level up here soon, probably in the next episode. Like, I'm, but I'm not gonna record the next episode until next week, because this is two, the second episode of the of the day. And you can see this thing gets really annoying. He made there's a suspicious rock, pulse stone, with an indent. 
and it never, you never actually see it inside the rock, but, oh well, video game logic. Ooh, pretty effect. Dust cloud. Circle of clouds. I fell into a burning ring of clouds. I went down, 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 but the ruins rose higher. Yeah. I heard a bunch of cut, it cuts away to a lot of people when it's suddenly dark out for some reason or another. But when he entered the room, but if he entered the room to go back out, it would be late again. It's, sudden, it's just dark out for this one particular scene. And like I said, heart block. Lovely. As, as if I knew it was going to be there. So we're going to hit that. Hit it good. Now I'm going to get out of here because this will make my camera all wonky. Yeah. Black Blog. I'm the huge scary tooth and Koopa. Remorseless king of the desert. You dare set foot in this. My palace of the sands. Speak and be known. Be gone from this place. No, or disaster will befall you. So, yeah, Tutan Koopa. A play on the Tutan Common. See, it's suddenly laid out. It's only dark out for that one scene. Sudden, sudden scenery shift. But, yep. Next. But, yeah, I'm going to stop here. Next time on Paper Mario 10 HP No Item Challenge, we're going to finish. We're going to go through the dry, dry ruins. We might finish it, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, I can't see the future. But anyway, yeah, see you guys next time.